and it will never cease from yielding fruit. That is the person that trusts in the Lord. A couple of verses of the Bible talks of the man who doesn't trust God or trust man or trust what man makes. Like somebody who trusts in one little thing that was made for him somewhere and they tell him as soon as every day as not, not, you knock this thing on your head, you'll be fine. Or when you are going to this place, you just you know, rub this thing on your face and you'll be fine. And that thing is not of God. Amen? Amen. That thing is not of God. You call names that you should not, should not be found in the mouth of a Christian. And you believe that once you call on those names that you are fine. But you neglected the name of Jesus. And you are calling on names of things that are not God's. Amen? Amen. And you are, the Bible says, God is the man who trusts in man. Amen? Amen. Because you really believe whoever told you something, whoever told you about that object. You believe them. That's why you use it. That's why you keep it. That's why you depend on it. You believe that whatever they told you about that object is the truth. That's why you rely on it. The Bible says, "Cause is the man who trusts in man. Who makes flesh his friend. Whose heart departs from the Lord. The Bible says, it will be like a straw in the desert. Even when good is coming, it will not know. We'll not see when good is coming. He says it will, that person will inhabit the parched and dry places of the wilderness. We'll be in a salt land which is not inhabited. So when you put your trust in God, God says that you will be like a tree that is planted by the rivers. He says, You will be like you, your root will spread into the waters. And we know that for every plant to grow uh, in, the, in our Rema Fellowship in the, the University of Delaware area, we've been studying Psalm 1 verse 1 for some time, which is pa parallel to this. And what we said is that environmentally, the things that go on in the environment will not affect it. Because the tree that is planted by the waters will never lack nutrients, will never lack water. And we know that every tree that does not get water, it will dry up. It's just a matter of time. Every tree that does not get water will dry up. It will dry up. So this particular person will be located close to his source, the source of his blessings. This particular person who trusts God, who depends on God, will be located close to where his blessing is coming from. His trees will be in the waters. The Bible says, its leaf will always be green. In Psalm 1, it says, its leaves will not wither. Here it says, it leaves we always be green. What does that mean? What causes a tree to, for its leaf to turn from green to brown and cause the leaf to fall? What causes it? The weather, the environment, things that surround the tree but are not actually part of the tree. It means whatever is happening in the environment of somebody who trusts in the Lord will not affect the person. If 10 million are losing their jobs, your job will secure. Amen. The Bible says a thousand will fall at your side, 10,000 at your right hand, it said, shall not come near you. It said, with your eyes shall you see and behold the reward of the wicked. It means that whatever is happening in the environment will not affect the person. If flu flies across your street and every house is 
is infected by H1N1, your home will not be infected. Amen. Its leaf will always be green. The Bible says it will never cease from yielding fruit. It will always be productive. The only job a tree has is to yield fruit. Right? Jesus got to a tree that was supposed to yield fruit. That's not the fact that the Bible said it was not yet the season for, for, for figs. Jesus caused the tree. The job of a tree is to produce fruit. Pure and simple. The Bible says this particular tree will never cease from you. Which means whatever you are supposed to be good at, you will continually be good. The worker in the office or a manager, you are supposed to have a productive team. It doesn't matter. Even if one of your workers is a useless person, an idiot, a non-entity, that's your team will always be on top. Amen. It will never cease from yielding. You will never stop being productive. Wherever you go, even without the tools you need to succeed, you will succeed. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and makes the Lord his hope, his hope as of expectation, his confidence as of what I am doing right now. Who makes God his hope for what is to come? I know that God will help me. Let me, let me, let me just... Stick to my nose, I can be quick. Amen? Amen? I know that God will trust me, that, that God will help me. Amen? Amen? When trusting in God, trusting God is an expression of, I know my God will help me. I know my God is able to see me through, followed by taking the actual steps that demonstrate faith. Trusting God is a demonstration of faith. When you take, trust God, you take steps of faith. You dare what is not possible. People who have worked with me in ministry, even in this church, they know one thing that, you, know, you want to work with me successfully? No, don't ever tell me that something is not possible. No, 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 no we, we're going to call them that. You tell me, no, we can't do this, Pastor. You are really lying because there's nothing that we cannot do. Amen. Amen. We can do all things Christ. through Christ. Who strengthens us? That's Philippians 4, I believe 13. We can do all things through Christ. There's nothing we can do. We can reach to the moon. We can achieve we, by next Sunday. We can have twice the number of people that are seated here in this church. There's nothing that is not possible. You can tell me, Pastor, this is going to stretch us. This is going to, to be, to be, you no, know, it's going to pull us, it's going to stretch us. It's going to be hard, but don't tell me it's can be done. There's nothing that can be done. Amen. Amen. So, trusting God, when you trust God, you take steps of faith. Anybody who does not trust God cannot exercise faith. Amen? Amen. Job said in Job chapter 13 verse 15, even though God kills me, even though he kills me, yet I will still trust him. I will still maintain my way before him, even if he kills me. How do we trust God? How do we express faith in him? The first thing about trusting God is that God, your will has to be done.